Hi, I'm back. Now, originally this video was gonna be another TikTok art hack video with my friend Chloe. She did one, I was gonna do one. We were gonna have a cute little TikTok art hack moment together. I'm currently sanitizing a bag of rocks. How's your week going? But once I actually started watching TikToks, art hacks, a mass majority of them were actually useful, actually helpful, and basically not what I wanted. <laughs> Where's the drama? Where's the flavor? And immediately I knew there was only one place that I could turn to for the weirdest, strangest, most unexpected life hacks pretty much on the internet. Now, if you're not familiar with the absolute behemoth that is five minute crafts, let me catch you up. They're what's called a content farm, meaning that they're a company, not an individual person, who films a bunch of life hacks. Sometimes they're real, sometimes they're fake, as you're about to see. And once they get the footage of their life hacks, they'll basically just keep reusing bits and pieces of it over and over again to make a new video, or they'll get one hack and like refilm it a bunch of times so it's different than the original one. I just spent the past two-ish hours looking at painting hacks from 5 Minute Crafts under the search bar. And in that time frame, I was able to find this exact hack or something like it. And I was able to find it 17 different times in two hours. And basically every single day on a span of multiple channels, they upload a new video every day. And another strange thing that you'll see with 5 Minute Crafts is that they use very strange and interesting thumbnails that have like literally nothing to do with the video. And of course, as a result of these techniques, they rake in billions upon billions of views. Am I jealous? A little bit. <laughs> So now that you know a little bit about five minute crafts and how they work, I found some of the most absolute ridiculous art hacks that I could find. And today I'm gonna test them out, see if they're real, see if they're fake, maybe debunk something. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the very first hack that we're gonna go through is from a video called 29 Awesome Crafts with DIY School Supplies, coming in at 6 million views. Okay, so basically we're gonna make nail polish out of crayons. Here we go. <laughs> now, every single time I do one of these craft videos, the number one concern that I get is, well, you're supposed to add this, you're supposed to take this extra step, but the average everyday person following five minute crafts, they're not gonna have an audience to tell them what to do. So because of that, I'm gonna follow exactly, exactly what the video shows. Starting with the fact that the video doesn't show how much to put in, so I'm just gonna wing it. Oh, it's like coagulating. It's not even mixing, it's kind of turning into a hard, like all the nail polish is balled up and it's kind of turned into like a hard, random blue blob. <laughs> or now that it's mostly all mixed up, I'm gonna dip it in there. All right, so here we go. This is so weird. It's like clumpy, but at the same time, it's like kind of warm, it kind of stinks. Yeah, that is looking terrible. Oh my gosh, this is, okay. Um, Wow. <laughs> okay, so here's what they look like. All done, final result. <laughs> look what it did to the brush. It like completely covered it all in hard crayon, I guess. So on a scale of one to 10 of how much this actually works and improves my life, I'm gonna have to give this one a zero. I, I don't even know how to take it off. <laughs> Now for this next one, it definitely seems like it's fancy editing tricks. It's from a video called Painting Ideas Everybody Should Try. And I want you to pay very close attention to the last like two seconds of the video. So if you didn't catch that, luckily I have my own fancy editing techniques. Right before the video ends, just like in the last half second, you can see the painting is already completed and the artist is pretending to finish it with a sponge. So right off the bat, if you have to fake a life hack, that's a little red flag for me. You know, that's some alarms going off. I'm gonna put one thin line at a time on a completely dry sponge, exactly as they showed. So here's what the sponge looks like. I tried to get it as even as possible, exactly how they showed. And I guess here we go. Um, 
So it kind of worked really well at first, but as the paint progressed on the page, it all just kind of mixed together and it kind of looks like those Mexican blankets, you know? <laughs> Let me try one more time because I have a feeling that this one really does work, but I'm just not too sure how it works, you know? By the way, this is like so much effort and it's like for what? Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. I'm happy to say with a lot of concentration, a lot of squeaking, a lot of carefully placed paint, it actually does work. Maybe not as well and not as clean, but it works. So yeah, I'm gonna rate this one a seven out of 10. Now for this next one, I'm just like, why? It's from a video called 23 Brilliant Art Ideas for Everyone. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack with that one. First of all, she clearly used nail polish in the beginning, and then she added food coloring. And then whenever they dipped it into the bowl, there was all these colors that weren't there originally, and it was really thick, like it was acrylic paint or just pure nail polish, not food coloring. But to bring it back to my original point, why are you water marbling a banana? Now for this hack, I would like to sincerely apologize for these bananas. I bought these brand new last week, but then I got sick and went to the hospital with an ulcer. I'm fine now, by the way. And now at this point, I just don't want to waste them. All right, so here we go. Not only is the food coloring like sinking to the bottom and not spreading out like how they showed, it's kind of reacting with the nail polish and it's kind of drying directly on top of it. Oh my God, this is not working at all. What the frick? Now that I've created whatever this is, it's time to dip the banana. So here we go. It absolutely did not turn it into a beautifully water marbled banana. This looks like a banana that's been rotting in the back of the cabinet for two months now. Oh my God, as it's drying, it's only getting worse. Like what are those bubbles forming? <laughs> what is this? Who thought of this? Oh my God. Now for this next one, it's a little gnarly. I'm not gonna lie, especially if you know my extreme dislike of eggs. Oh God, I hate eggs. <laughs> I hate eggs so much. And this video is called Painting Tutorials for Beginners, Simple Art Techniques and Drawing Tricks to Create a Masterpiece. I feel like that one's pretty straightforward. Get an egg, empty it out, fill it with paint, throw it at a canvas. So if I was to do this art hack literally any other time of the year, I would have to use real eggs. But luckily it's around Easter time. And I don't know if this is my region or if it's everywhere in the United States, but they sell these confetti eggs. And all I have to do is literally just inject paint into them. So we're outside, if you can't tell. <laughs> and here's my professional setup. I'm only gonna be about four feet away from the canvas because I feel like that's good enough. So here we go. Let me try another one. Oh. Oh. They're literally not breaking. No. Okay, last one. <laughs> uh. This 
next one is so crazy. I absolutely refuse to believe that this one will work. And not just that, that it's not dangerous. <laughs> like it won't poke somebody's eye out, you know? This is from a video called 33 Awesome Drawing Hacks to Draw Like a Pro. Brava. In what world? In what world? If you didn't catch that, the fancy editing, when she put the piece of paper to trace on the person's face, you can clearly see where it crumpled. And then in the next scene, it was like perfectly smooth, brand new. Something ain't right here. So for this next art hack, I'm gonna need another person to film with. So I brought my friend, Tevin, who you've seen many times on my channel, right? Three times. Tevin has no idea what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna live react him to the, the hack. Get this nonsense out of my face. <laughs> by the way, we're like in the parking lot of a restaurant right now. And by a the restaurant? It it's a Sonic, chill out. It's I'm just gonna... I can't. Let me just hold the damn paper. Okay, hold it up. Hold Wait, it let up. Let me hold the paper. Okay, can you breathe? Okay, pull it out. Wow, that actually kind of worked. I <laughs> I feel like it. <laughs> let's, let's get a good look at that. I feel like it worked. Oh my god, that looks like um, what is that mask from Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Leatherface? You think I look like Leatherface? No, no. Wait, let me sketch you. That's how it really went down. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. Ooh, wow, I like the eyebrow. I like the eyebrows. I feel like those really do look like my lips though. Why, why is she acting like this is good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Tevin, for being on my channel. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, as always, when I do these videos, I save the absolute best for last. This one is from a video that we had mentioned earlier. And when I saw this, I literally could not believe this was a hack. Here it is. When I saw this, my mouth dropped because I just could not believe this is a hack. I just refuse to believe that this is real, you know? And by the way, this is all washable paint, completely biodegradable. It'll go away with some water, so. Here we go. All right, so the paint is laid on very thickly and I'm just gonna pick it up. How many times should I spin it? Just like the one? Whoa, two. my other art hack videos down below. If you want to see more, let me know. And with that being said, I will see you guys next video. Bye.